what time it is. Empties time and I've got a lot here to show you today. These are for the month of March. So let's see what I've got to start with. These two. I've got two of these. These are boring. So I thought I'd start it off with these and get them out of the way. So I use these every month, a couple of them with my family. They work great and they're cheap. So lovely. What else have I got? I've got Bath and Body Works Body Scrub. It's called Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower uh, Exfoliating Beach Body Scrub. And this has got walnut shell in it and coconut water. It's really nice. I don't think you can see it very well because it's shining. But it took me quite a while to use up because one of the reasons I couldn't use it very much is because my husband would see that it had been in the bath and he thought, oh, you're scratching the bath up so I can't use it very often. When he's here, I don't use it in case there's like one little grain left in it and he'll spot it. He goes, scratching the bath up. But this one doesn't disintegrate because it's got the walnut in it, the walnut shell. I'm not too keen on that. You can see in there, look, it looks like sand. It's like being on the beach. It's quite, you know, nice for that, but it doesn't disintegrate. So that all has to go down the plug. I'm not too keen on that. And it does scratch your bath up apparently. So, but it smelled gorgeous. Yeah, I can smell it. It was nice, nice smell, but it doesn't froth up. It's like a, a like, feels like sand, like scrubbing yourself, but it's good, good scrub. It works. What else have I got? Oh, I love this stuff. This is L'Oreal Paris Dark Blonde Magic Retouch. It's one of those ones where you spray on your roots to disguise them. See, look, you can see the colour there. Matches me good, doesn't it? I need to get some more. At the moment, I've been putting eyeshadow in it to use it up. So, it's, you know, you can do that. Because this isn't cheap, actually. I think this is like £8. But it is good and it did last a while. I, I really do like it and I will buy it again. What else have I got? Oh, I've got one of these. This is a conditioner that came out of a hair dye. I wish they'd do these in a massive size, because have you ever noticed? When they do these, they're always better. I'm trying not to get the shine on it. There you go. They're always better than the ones that you get out of the shops, like normal bottles of shampoo. They always make these really good. I don't know if they've got a load of dimethicone in them or something. I think it's to disguise the fact that you've dyed your hair and damaged it. So they make these and then it probably coats your hair and makes you think, oh, my hair is so lovely and soft. It's not damaged at all. I think it does get damaged and this is to mask it. But still, it's really good and I would buy it if they did it in a bottle. So, yeah, it's the Claire Earl one. It came in a nice and easy um, dye that I've been using. And then what else have I got? Oh, I've got a makeup item. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I said it right for once. I've actually finished it and then I can manage to say it right as if. So yeah, this I really did enjoy this one. And uh, this came free inside one of those, you know, you, when you buy things and then they give you a, load, like a goodie bag. This came in a goodie bag from Sephora and I was, I was really pleased with that. And this is a nice wand. I like the wand because it's skinny. And it's the fibre. It is fibre, isn't it? Why do I keep looking at it and going, it's fibre, isn't it? Because I've already looked at it another day. I'm pretty sure that is fibre. It gets really good because it goes to more or less to a point. Because I feel like I've got really small eyes. And I hate those really massive big wands. You can't even see your eye while you're putting it on. So yeah, I really like this one. I don't, don't know if I'd buy the full size though. If it was on offer, I would, because I think they're quite expensive, Hourglass. I've had other mascaras that are probably just as good, but it did, it did make them look nice anyway. So I enjoyed that and I'd probably buy it on offer. Right, what have I got next? Oh, I've got an Avon. This is Avon Naturals Hair Care strand strength detangling spray and this is apricot and shea uh, smell and i found this makes your hair so soft it's absolutely beautiful um i really liked it but i don't think you can get it anymore and you know they put those symbols on it when they're not going to be doing it anymore and they put that warning thing on there so i bought a ton of them 
but now I can't get it anymore and my Avon man has gone. He's gone! I don't know where he's gone, so I'm not happy. <laughs> I always made sure I ordered from him, but he's moved out of the area. I really, really like this. It left my hair so soft and it did detangle. It was really good at detangling, actually. So if I ever see anything like that again in Avon, like these Naturals collections, I would definitely buy that again, but you can't get it. I'm so sad about it. So that was a spray one and you can get you could get one um, that you put in on like a cream that you put in on your hands as well. I had one of those. It was the same smell, but it was lovely. It really made your hair soft and it smelled nice too. Um, then I've got this, which is something I buy all the time. And I managed to get it in a massive size because I was buying it from the supermarket and it was about five, six, seven pounds to buy um, a 250 mil size. I didn't really like paying all that. But this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Rose Water all in one. So this is my my micellar water that I use to get my makeup off at night. And it works really well. It's very effective and it smells really nice because I don't like anything that's too too smelly because then I start getting itchy and I get reactions really easily. I've had to return my cellar waters a couple of times like the gut was it the Garnier brand or some other supermarket brand I've had to return it because I felt like my face was burning it was that bad but this one doesn't do that to me and it is a really nice pleasant smell as well and um yeah this is a yeah that's lovely this is a massive um size what size is it again where does it say 700 mil so yeah that's that's even bigger than double what i was getting it in the supermarket for so i was getting like 250 mil i think it was and uh, that was like six or seven quid i managed to get this from look fantastic on offer because you know they're always doing those offers i managed to get at least 20 percent off this and i think i got it for like a five, five pounds something and it was re you know a really good deal so i'll be going back there and looking for this there this time so yeah Really nice, and I recommend it. What have I got now? Mm, these things, I'm gonna talk about these. I've got Johnson's Top to Toe and Tesco's Fred and Flow. <laughs> oh, isn't it funny that they rhyme as well? It's like their version of the Johnson's. And and usually you, you, buy, you associate this with bathing your baby, don't you? and you can put it anywhere on them but i use it down there you know the whole family does because i can't use perfume things down there i'll get something wrong with me i'll start like i said i've got it itchy like i get sensitive skin and that is all over so uh, this this one doesn't irritate me but this one did so mm -mm -mm -mm. not for me thank you can't use that but you know i ended up using it up elsewhere you can use, i can use it anywhere else but not down there because i got a problem down there from this and i get i get them all the time these these problems especially if i use something that's not right so i will stick to that thank you very much and i think that's really this is really it's a bit more expensive but i try and buy it when it's on offer i think usually i can get it for like two pounds but i think it costs like three pound fifty or maybe even three pound seventy five to buy usually so i wait till it's on offer and buy a load of them but this i get no problems with so that's really good i won't be buying fred and flow again so what have i got next oh i've got another bar from body works this one is called melon mojito and this is aloe and vitamin e yeah aloe and vitamin e shower gel beautiful let me smell yeah you can definitely eat that smells like melons really nice that is i enjoyed that these um bath and body works ones i like to get them on offer because they're a bit expensive they're usually 16 pounds where well, i get them from next they're usually 16 pounds but i get them when they're half price or less and they're nice for presents because they're a bit posher than um you know your average one out of a supermarket so i like to buy these for a treat when they're on offer and they froth up lovely and you can use them as bubble bath as well really nice so yeah and then what else have we got i'm getting there getting there i've got 
The Nils Yard Remedies Rose Facial Wash refreshes and cleanses for normal and sensitive skin. And this is one that I buy over and over and over again. I get no problems with this. This is really good. The smell is pleasant. It's not too strong. Notice it's rose and so is this rose. I don't seem to have a problem with rose things. So um, this is a beautiful range at Neil's Yard and I use a lot of the rose range for my skincare. And this is this lasts as well. It costs six, about £16, but I usually get it on offer. They have it look fantastic, so I can get a, a bit off that. I think I try and get it, I think, like 20% off or something. And it lasts for months on end. I know people think, oh, these things are expensive. But this spout is small and you only need one pump to do your face and neck. And it makes a lovely, um, you know, it's got a nice slip. I wouldn't say it laves up loads. But it does make your face feel clean. It doesn't leave it feeling stripped. It's just good. It's like leaves it feeling normal. Because sometimes I've used things and I think, oh, my face feels a bit dry. And I can't wait to get my toner on to get rid of that feeling. But this, you don't feel any of that with this. And I think this is really good. And it lasts ages. So it makes it worth the spend as well. And you get no problems. I don't get any problems with it. I use it on my eyes everywhere. So, yeah, because some of them you get in your eyes and they're not very pleasant are they so yeah that's a good one what have I got next another Neil's yard this is the wild rose range this is wild rose beauty serum and this I have bought over and over again and you know you get those products where you think I can't be without that I've got to have a backup I need a backup of this because I'm on my next one and I'm getting worried I mean I've only got about that far down it but I always get worried when I've got one left and I've got to go and buy another one so I will leave it a little while longer because I want to get it when it's on offer because this is expensive this is like I think it's about 45 pounds or maybe 46 I'm not really sure but like I said I'll go and get it on offer somewhere always try and get these things on offer and it lasts it lasts a long time I say mm, does that last me a at least four to six months maybe longer I have never thought about we'll see next time I get an empty we'll see how long it was since I did this empty so I'll know then but yeah I always use this over and over and it's addictive like to me it's addictive when I put it on my face I feel like I've come alive you know when you feel oh I feel awful and I put this on and I feel much better I just feel like I'm I don't know coming alive much much better so I can't be without it. I use other serums. I think, oh, use this one, use that one. See if you can find an alternative that's just as good and cheaper. But I, I never find one that I enjoy as much as this. So I love it. And this has got hyaluronic acid in it, which is one of the reasons. Because I'm always looking in um, the ingredients to see what's in it. Because I like things like that. Hyaluronic acid is really good for you, isn't it? So, so yeah, I've got a bit of it on me. <laughs> but yeah really good and I recommend buying that also what else sorry I've just slung it in all my pile making a whole clatter what else have I got oh I've got a tiny tiny little sample and I've actually got this on today this is Miss Dior can't even see it can you because of my my glary light oh I don't know but anyway Miss Dior a uh, little perfume this is I like using these samples and then you can tell what you like can't you this has got a fresher floral smell so if you like those kind of smells that's a good one and I like it yeah I, I, it's not one what I would usually wear but I don't dislike it so yeah nice fresh floral smell if you're into those I'm not sure how much full sizes of that but that was free I get that in my local shop around here or we'll give out free samples excuse these things here I had to put them back because um, they were sticking out the front like a pair of elephant's tusks <laughs> because I had tucked them behind my ear while my hair was drying and then I always get those kinks where you put it around your ear and it was going like that. <laughs> so I've put them back here and now they're going like that. <laughs> so yeah, it's a look at it. Right, last thing this is. This is Estee Lauder Revitalising Supreme Plus 
global anti-aging cell power eye balm. That's a lot, isn't it, to say? But this was a nice eye cream and it didn't smell too, it's all gone now. It didn't smell too strong. It does have a, a smell to it because it is Estee Lauder and I don't think I've ever come across anything that isn't perfumed by them. But um, it's not too strong a smell and it didn't irritate me because a lot of the times I can put eye creams on and I'll start getting itchy around my eyes. But this one, it was good and it felt hydrating. So yeah, it was a nice one. And uh, I probably wouldn't buy the full size because I don't feel like it did anything magical. This came in a little set thing. I, I can't remember if it was free with a purchase. And it lasted quite a while. I think it lasted a month or more for this little size. How big is this size? It's five mil. It's five mil. And that lasted a good month. So that's good, isn't it? Five mil. That was a lot, wasn't it? I didn't have all this last month. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my empties. And I'll see you again next month. Bye.